This is activity two, perception of taste. And I've got my handout here, and I've actually got the instructions in one stapled area, and I've got the last pages um, separately stapled. That's where I'm going to be writing my data. I've got my equipment all around me here, and I'm going to turn to procedure A, the threshold concentrations of primary tastes, sweetness. And it says prepare 100 milliliters of 1.35% sucrose mass by mass solution. To do this, record the mass of a 250 to 300 milliliter beaker. I don't know if you could hear that beep, but that's my scale turning on. I've got my scale right here. And <clears throat> I want to make sure it says 0, 0.0. I've got my 250, actually this says 300, but somewhere in there, uh, plastic beaker. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to write down on my data table where it says a mass of clean, dry, 250 to 300 milliliter beaker. Mine is 24.7 grams. And I'm writing 24.7 and grams. Those are all the digits on the scale that I have here. And, no, uh, whoop. There we go. And um, it says, take a picture of the beaker on the scale from above so that the beaker and the mass of the beaker can both be seen in your report. This is picture A1. So I will do that as well. And it's a little hard so on the scale to make sure that you can read the numbers. So please make sure you can read the numbers. Um, and I take a look at the picture and I can see that it says 24.7 grams. So far, so good. Add approximately 1.37 grams of sucrose to the beaker. Um, be careful that your scale does not turn off. And um, so I just moved it on the scale to make sure it didn't turn off. Um, and add approximately 1.37 grams. So I have my sucrose. Uh, yours may look different than this from the kit, but this is the way I package mine up. And um, it says 1.37, so I guess with tenths place, I'm only going to add 1.4. And 1.4 would be, well, let's see, 25.8, 26.2. So I'm just sort of slowly... Adding it. Oh, I'm already at 26.4. Well, that's a tiny bit over, but uh, what should I do? Oh, if I have waste, then I'll take a little tiny bit out. But I won't put it back in the bag. So good chemistry form says put it into a little waste container. And I just have an M extra beaker over here for my waste. I'm down to 26.3. Twenty-six point two. I'm just going to seal up my sucrose so it doesn't get all over the place here. And now, mass of so there's a spot for mass of clean, dry, two hundred fifty to three hundred milliliter beaker plus sucrose. That's going to be twenty-six point two. Oh, I think I got one point five, which is going to be close enough. Mass of clean, dry, oh, plus one hundred milliliters of water. I have my water in a beaker here. Distilled water works best. I'm using uh, purified tap water. That works well as too. And so I'm actually, I want 126.2. And so I don't hurt my scale. I'm going to pick it up and take it over here and fill it up to just under the 100 mark and see how I'm doing. Remember, I'm shooting for 126.2 and I've got 109. And again, the exact amount doesn't matter. I did just splash on my scale though, and that's water that's not in my thing. So I just took a tissue actually that I happen to have here. 123.6, all right. 124.6, and I got 127.7. Not exact, but always write down the exact numbers that you get. I get 127.7 grams, and all of my units 
are placed in my little table here. And it says, take a picture of the beaker on the scale from above so that the beaker and the mass of the beaker can both be seen at this step. And do that. And you'll be able to see the water in there as well. Um, it is, okay, no, uh, oh, and so the next thing you want to do is actually take your spoon, make sure that it's clean, so I'm going to take a tissue, because you don't want to add any more sugar, and now I'm going to stir to mix and dissolve all of the salt, sorry, all of the sugar, sucrose, <laughs> And this can take a minute or two, so make sure it's all dissolved. And while we're doing this, I'll talk about how I make a hummingbird feed for my hummingbird feeder. And that is 20% by mass sugar, and that takes a little while to dissolve too. This is going to be right around 1.35%. And I'm just looking in here to see if there are any more grains. I don't see any, but I'm going to stir it again just to make sure. Because if it's not dissolved, then the next part won't be right either. Give yourself a little bit of time. Good. And now you have created, well, it's approximately 1.35%. You know that my numbers are a little off. And in science, we always go with the numbers that we get. So that's fine. We'll go with the numbers we get. It'll be close. We'll see how close when we do our calculations later. And um, yeah, that's good.